into this eighth chapter third part where we are going to understand comparison operators what are these things what are comparison operators all of it we're going to understand in this video okay let's start with the content of this video so that we know what we're actually going to read and you know go about things comparison operators what are these and what all types of comparison operators are there okay let's start with the first one okay so we over, comparison operators are used to compare two variables whenever you want to compare something you use comparison variables so you know the return value of a comparison is either one or either zero you know when you compare things either they are similar or they're non similar as simple as that so in the for example okay sorry in the for example we use the greater than operator to find out if five is greater than five, three okay so you know we what we are doing is we're declaring x is equal to five we're declaring y is equal to three and comparing both of them okay if x is greater than y it's going to return one okay so you know which is true five is greater than three it's going to return a one which is true because it is greater than five so that's how you get this output and you know you would get an output of one in this entire program as simple as that okay let's let's see some of the examples of you know comparison operators how do you compare these things so double equal to sign means equal to you know if x is equal to equal to y means you know you'll get an output if yes it's going to be one if no it's going to be zero you have not equal to if x is not equal to y you know if x is not equal to y you're going to get one if x is equal to y it's going to get zero greater than sign okay if x is greater than y you're going to get one if x is greater than y is false which is x is smaller than y it's going to give you a zero less than if x is less than y it's going to give you a one if x is greater than y it's going to give you a zero greater than equal to if x is greater than or equal to y it's going to give you a one if x is less than or equal to or in any other situation it's going to give you a zero now understand this or oh, something over here is if it's not equal to and it's only greater than then also it's a false thing okay less than or equal to which means you know if x is smaller and equal to y it's going to give you a one if not if any of this condition is not followed it's going to give you a zero very simple very handy i hope you understood this part of this video and i hope you understood how we go about it in the next video we're going to talk about logical operators and their types and i hope you're having a lot of fun till then i'll see you all in the next one peace